So here we have a branded t-shirt from the market with an in-house pretreatment uh, done. And uh, what you can see is that there is a white uh, mask, what we call the boxing effect, which is really not attractive. And plus the hand fanning is not good. It's a little bit uh, stiff, a little bit carton effect. Now I'm picking the same t-shirt, but an RTP apparel one. And what you can see is that there is no boxing effect. Plus the hand filling is really good. There is an enzyme, so there is no hairiness. Everything is smooth and good. You will never have any interaction between the chemical and the color, the dyes from the fabric, such as here, where you can see there are clear marks, even back sides. And this is an example of a printed shirt printed on RTP apparel. What you can see is that it is just perfect. We have the black, whether it's on white, French navy, and heather gray. So I'm not saying that in the market everyone is not printing correctly, but the point is that to maintain this consistency in the quality, it takes a lot of um, energy, resources. So rather than that, just use the RTP apparel shirt and get rid of the quality adjustment or losses. Another consideration is the interaction between the pretreatment and the fabric dyes. Imagine you are a printer. You are printing every day that style, this color, and you have everything that is working well. And suddenly, something is coming totally different. So you're thinking, okay, did I mess with my mixing ratio? Is there, is there any issue with my printing head? Is there any issue with my curing system, my tunnel or my heat press? All these questions, you don't know exactly what is, what is going wrong. With RTP Apparel, you have the guarantee of getting right quality, no carton effect, good hand filling, consistency, no boxing effect, no discoloration. That's RTP Apparel. So for printability, I would like to show you what is the result of the GTX calibration print, the highlight and checks. So now let's see what we have. So we have printed this uh, highlight and check calibration print. Also, we did the mask. And what I can see here is that we have a great whiteness that is starting from the highlight three. It is perfect starting from four. Four, five, six are just wonderful. If you go higher than that, then there is a sort of bleeding. So too much white ink on the base layer. And, and of course, the highlight one and two are really too low level of uh, base layer. So we have printed the mask highlight four. And what I can see is that mask, I don't need to have too much uh, uh, level. So mask one is okay. We have vibrant colors. We don't have too much uh, white base layer ink. And uh, here I have the same t-shirt, which has been washed 10 times, over 10 times, that is our standard. And what you can see is that still we have the same result with the highlight four, which is good, highlight five, which is good also. And that's it. So we make sure that we are passing all the standards from the original equipment manufacturers. That's what we do at RTP Apparel. I would like to show you some other examples of uh, washed and unwashed uh, prints here on the RTP uh, Heather Gray tone. And again, what you can see is that after 10 washes, we have something really great. So this is the guarantee that you can get with RTP Apparel. Washability, printability, all perfect. Mm -hmm.